What is up, my fellow YouTubers? Josh here from Momentum Productions, and today we are going to be having a really important video tutorial. This all has to do with color correction. Now, I just released uh, my latest review video on the DJI Mavic Pro, and as you notice, if you've seen this review video, uh, I shot everything in D-Log and converted it and color corrected the footage myself to make it pop and look the way I want it to look. Now, the importance of shooting in D-Log is that basically you are shooting in what is called like the flat profile. Col colors are washed out, shadows are washed out, highlights are washed out, midtones are washed out. And what happens is, is that this allows you to really manipulate the colors in post-production. So I'm going to show you how I did that in Final Cut Pro. Now, if you don't have any of these fancy plugins, color correction plugins, uh, like I had and used in my review video, I'm going to show you how to use Final Cut's basic color correction plugin. Obviously, you're not going to get as good as results, but for starters, it's pretty darn good. Alright, so let's go ahead and drag and drop our clip here. Uh, as you notice, I am flying over a farm. Just trim that part. Uh, what do we expect out of this footage? You can tell that it's really, really flat. The greens don't look green at all. They're just basically washed out we want the greens to pop here this is the this is the subject of the clip we want the green to be green we want it to be saturated we want it to pop and we want the shadows to pop as well so I really like doing color correction in a trial and error sort of process so this is what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and find my color correction plugin here's the standard one here drag and drop it onto my clip Okay, I can close my effects tab here and let's open the color board here alright so basically we have three options here we have our color saturation and exposure I'm pretty happy with my exposure in this clip it's not too dark it's not too light it's actually where I want it to be but obviously this can change after we change the colors but as of right now I am not too obsessed or upset about the footage exposure. First off, we have our global slider, our shadow slider, our midtone slider, and our highlight slider. Let's see what happens when we change the color of our shadows. Notice the whole footage just completely changes color right find the look that you really like this has to deal with what you like to see so let's see if I can find a look that I like make it a little bit cinematic here I like this look let's mess with the midtones here nice how about the highlights bring them up a bit this is all a trial and error process here. Right there. Global, this is overall color correction. Right there. That gives us a nice green. And to overall make it more green, make it pop, let's mess with the saturation. We have our shadows, midtones, and highlights. And we have our global slider here, which is the overall saturation of the clip. Let's mess with the shadows first. Let's saturate the shadows to really make the green pop. So I'm going to increase the saturation of the shadows. Next, the midtones, that would be the green color. We, want, we would want that to pop as well. So let's increase the green. So it's becoming a little too overly saturated here. But instead of it adjusting these sliders on the saturation, I'm going to go back to color and let's see if we can just decrease the amount of shadow color there. Right about there. How about the global? Let's decrease that just a tad as well. Right there. Now we want to make sure we don't clip any of the colors here and what I mean by that is as you look down the the footage here look down the row of crops here you can still see that they're separated by different aisles 
If we really mess with the saturation, you can just see blotches of green. You are losing detail. You are actually covering up these aisles. And we want to make sure that we continue to see the separation in the crops because that means that we haven't lost our detail, our shadows are still there, and that's what's really important. Let's go ahead and continue messing around with the highlights. Increasing saturation of the highlights. You can actually see that as I increase the saturation, you will start noticing some blotching happening here. I lost some details in my shadows, in my aisles, separating the crops because I just increased the saturation too much. So let's decrease it. Right about there. All right, so let's see what we have so far here. Obviously, you're not going to get the same color performance and color correction as Magic Bullet Suite, but Final Cut does a decent job of saturation and overall color correction. So let's look at the before and after. Here's with the before here's the before look and here's the after look there's a massive massive distinction between those two looks here everything is just pure flat and here everything is saturated and more contrasty you can separate the shadows from the midtones a lot better than you can from this this clip here see the difference Overall, this is a big trial and error process. This all has to do with how you want to look at the footage and how you want your audience to look at the footage. Color correction is very, very important. Now, why don't I just shoot in normal or vivid mode in the DJI GO app on the Mavic Pro? Well, that's simple. In the DJI GO app, colors are overly manipulated in vivid mode or in normal mode. So I'd rather just have everything flattened out and have myself manipulate the colors. I find it a lot more easy and a lot more safe rather than having the app doing all the work. You always want to make sure that you have flexibility in post-production. That's how the pros do it. I hope this tutorial has helped you out on how to properly color correct your footage. Please let me know if you have any comments or questions in the comment section below or feel free to email me. Also, please like and share this video with your friends, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And I will see you on my next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.